हाँ मैं काम आते हैं जरा एक तर ओके मैम विल स्टार्ट नाउ द लाइव स्ट्रीम इज ऑन ओके वेरी वॉम एंड प्लीज एंड गुड मॉर्निंग टू वन एंड ऑल आई एम ऑडिबल टू एवरीवन टुडे वी आर ओके टुडे वी आर हियर फॉर पीएचडी वेबिनार सीरीज लेक्चर नंबर थर्टी सिक्स आई वेलकम टू अवर चेयरमैन इज नॉट विथ अस डॉक्टर डॉक्टर एम देशमुख सर and also today's speaker dr sonali girdhari ma'am and all other participants now i shortly introduce our today's speaker for phd webinar series <clears throat> ma'am has completed her phd in biotechnology from swami ramanand tirth marathwada university nanded also ma'am has qualified set net and gate examination also she has passed patent agent uh, examination in 2022 conducted by indian patent office and also she was gold medalist during her msc ma'am has 6 years of teaching experience she had published various research articles in reputed journals and also participated in various conferences at national and international level currently ma'am is exploring uh, research and uh, entrepreneur uh, opportunity in her field so once again i welcome you ma'am on behalf of microbiology society and uh, now i uh, request to uh, you to share your screen and start your presentation yes there so let it be like this uh thank you uh, i'll be starting my presentation just in few moments Okay. Let me share my screen. Uh, yes so is it visible to everybody yes ma'am you start now okay so myself sonali girdhari i have uh, done my phd in biotechnology from swami ramanand tirth marathwada university nanded under the guidance of my supervisor dr anupama patak and uh, the topic that i will be covering for my uh, which was the topic of my phd in his identification and characterization of microbes present in the hot water spring of vajeshwari mumbai and bioprospecting for enzymatic activities of industrial importance so before i proceed for my actual phd work uh, let me give you some introduction to understand this topic better this um, work has been performed uh, uh, using uh, one of the hot spring in maharashtra and uh, uh, if we want to know the hot spring jala apan marathi madhe ushna panache jhare manto they happen or they are occur all over the world and uh, their hot water temperature is mainly due to the geological activity that is <coughs> present underneath the earth's crust this hot spring studies uh, for the first time they got uh, worldwide attention mainly in the field of microbiology and biotechnology after the discovery of uh, this th bacteria thermophilic bacteria thermus aquaticus from yellowstone national park usa by brock in 1967 as we are all familiar with tag polymerase which is used in the polymerase chain reaction and which has revolutionized the biotechnology field so this was the bacteria from which this polymerase was isolated and uh, after this discovery Uh, the hot spring and uh, thermophiles found in them their studies got uh, accelerated coming to the thermophilic bacteria 
they are present not only in host spring but they can be found in various habitats and depending on the temperature condition they can survive and sustain in they can be classified into different types as hyperthermophiles that is which can sustain about 80 degrees celsius obligate thermophiles temperature range between 70 to 80 degrees celsius and moderate thermophiles between 45 to 70 degrees celsius now apart from world all over the world in india also many hot springs are present a uh, few of them of prominent importance are manikaran of himachal pradesh tulsi sham and lasundra from gujarat surajkand of uttaranchal uh, there are uh, in orissa also in, in maharashtra also many of the hot spring uh, in the west coast region jala apan kokna karcha vagare kokan area vagare ahe tikda many of them are present and uh, uh, sharolkar in 2005 has reported many comparative studies of this west coast hot spring and uh, it is present in the literature this hot spring uh, they are studied mainly because uh, they serve as a ecological database now these hot springs many people visit them for uh, taking bath uh, because of various religious reasons because it is found in the vicinity of nearby temples and uh, in many places in the world people take bath in this hot spring for curing medical condition like skin diseases and microbiologically these are important source of thermophiles and various kind of uh, biomolecules like pigments proteins and various kind of enzymes can be extracted from them which find various industrial applications now before we uh, study this aims and objective let me give you a locator map of vajeshwari hot spring uh, the one that i have selected for my phd topic in india this is the maharashtra state and uh, towards the west coast uh, that is near mumbai uh, this vajeshwari hot spring it is present in thane district and bhivandi taluka so here we can see the hot spring location in the river bed and from this river the hot spring is transported into the hot water kund which is present near a temple and here is where people visit this kund for taking bath after selection of this hot spring we have devised various aims and objectives to carry out our work that is uh, number 1 a uh, water sample collection from this ganeshpuri hot spring that is which is there in the vajeshwari we have collected water sample mainly in two seasons post monsoon and pre monsoon that is winter and summer season after collecting this water sample various abiotic characterization and physico chemical analysis was performed that is uh, determination of chloride nitrate dissolved oxygen total solids and various other parameters from this water sample we have tried to isolate various <clears throat> kind of a thermophilic and bacterial and fungal species by employing various media after the isolates were obtained uh, this isolation was performed around 55 degrees celsius uh, the incubation temperature the isolates that were obtained were studied by they were identified by using various microbiological and biochemical techniques and uh, two isolates we have uh, we have also uh, screen these isolates for various enzyme activities almost 6 to 7 type of enzymes uh, we have uh, we have selected and we have screened these isolates for their enzyme production ability and after this screening two isolates we have selected and their enzyme characterization studies was performed so production of enzyme from these two isolates uh, their uh, large scale production characterization and uh, two application were studied and uh, this isolates their 16s rrna sequencing and one of the culture has been deposited in ncmr pune and eight isolates 16s rrna sequences has been deposited in the gene bank for uh, 
these objectives the methodology that has been employed is collection of the water sample so after collecting water sample from the hot spring in situ temperature ph and dissolved oxygen analysis was performed and for performing other parameters the water was brought into the lab and there other studies were performed the isolation of thermophilic microbial species was performed by enrichment method in uh, six to seven different kind of a media the screening of enzyme was performed for amylase mannanase pectinase cellulase gelatinase dextrinase and lipase characterization of the isolates was done physico chemical physiological studies was performed by studying the effect of ph temperature salt concentration and so on molecular characterization was performed by 16s rrna sequencing and uh, the phylogenetic tree was built using medgaic software for the production of thermostable enzyme two isolates were uh, selected vm of the anoxy bacillus for pectinase production and v7 of the bacillus lichen communis for the mannanase production for both this enzyme the enzyme determination was performed by dns method dinitrosalicylic acid which measures the reducing sugar that is produced uh, by these enzymes and all the studies were done using this method optimization of the culture conditions for the maximum enzyme production was performed by one variable at a time approach using submerged fermentation method enzyme characterization study the effect of various after optimization of the enzyme it was produced on large scale it was purified to some extent and this purified enzyme was characterized for the effect of ph temperature substrate concentration incubation time effect of various metal ions detergents solvents organic solvents and modulators so we can see uh the metal ions that we have used for this characterization studies are written over here and different modulators like ethylene di ETTA uh, which is a metal chelator hydrogen peroxide which is oxidant potassium iodide so some of the oxidizing and reducing agent were used to see the the effect on the enzyme activity the organic solvent employed Where uh, phenol, chloroform, hexane, acetone, acetone, nitrile, acetone, amyl alcohol, and ethanol. We have also determined the effect of. Uh, we have also determined the compatibility of this enzyme with various detergent, uh, the commercially available green bill, tide, uh, so on, and SDS also. This was performed so that uh, we can check the compatibility of this enzyme with the detergent, and we can use this enzyme for the de-staining activity. the coming to the application part what we have done is we have uh, performed uh, two applications uh, both this enzyme one for the fruit juice extraction and clarification and second one for the de-staining activity so effect of this enzyme on fruit juice extraction was performed by incubating this mast enzymes in presence of the enzyme as a test solution and for the control uh, the enzyme was not used instead of it just distilled water was used so after the juice was filtered its yield was determined and its clarity of the juice was determined by using spectrophotometer by determining the transmittance at 660 nanometer de-staining activity what we have done is cotton fabric pieces we have artificially stained with gravy and mud containing the respective substrate for that enzyme and this artificially stained uh, fabric pieces they were dipped in four kind of uh, uh, solutions uh, one is the control that is tap water second is water with the inactivated detergent third is water with the enzyme and fourth is water with the inactivated detergent and enzyme so after incubation for certain time uh, we were, we rinsed those pieces and we have seen the effect of enzyme detergent and enzyme plus detergent on the uh, detergency activity of this enzymes 
coming to the result part of uh, the uh, methodology that we have employed when physical chemical analysis of the water was done in the two seasons winter and summer what we found is uh, manually or uh, just without any testing uh, the water was found to be colorless odorless and tasteless and uh, the spring water was hot with its ph in the acidic range and total viable count in the summer season was 2.1 into 10 power 3 uh, which was performed at 55 degrees celsius some of the water parameters were above the recommended range some were within the range and some were below the range as we can see in this tables so this is the table of 20 uh, different physical chemical parameters we can see in one row there are parameters are given in the second the actual value of the water uh, that we have collected those values are given and in the third uh, what is permissible by who for the potability of water those parameters are given so the values we have determined for our sample was compared with this who standards and from this we have determined that some parameters like iron chloride calcium magnesium hardness bicarbonate chloride were above the recommended standards whereas alkanity phosphorus sulfate nitrate were within the limits this is a second table depicting the analysis of the water sample and uh, in this what we have done is the vajeshwari hot water spring parameters or whatever values we have obtained we have not only compared with the standard but we have also compared with the other hot spring studies that are reported in the literature and uh, what we have found is that uh, the main the main interpretation from this was most of the hot spring were of neutral to alkaline region uh, alkaline nature but uh, whereas our hot spring was somewhat acidic the different bacterial isolates the fungal isolates were not obtained in the study but uh, different bacterial isolates which was obtained by the enrichment method and uh, at 55 degrees celsius uh, on the solid agar we have obtained these isolates these isolates uh, almost 36 were obtained from this 16 were selected depending on their enzyme production capabilities and we can see here two tables so in this first table the isolates were identified by 16s rrna gene sequencing and phylogenetic analysis we can see this eight isolates they were labeled as v12 bsd and so on and uh, their identification was uh, most of them were from uh, anoxybacillus uh, three of them were anoxybacillus geothermalis species one was bacillus one is anoxybacillus contaminans one is bacillus lycaniformis and two other anoxybacillus adenosis so these are the gene bank accession number uh, these are after the submission of 16s rrna sequencing to the ncbi gene bank in the table 2 we can see the isolates that has been identified by the biochemical characters and you can see the isolates and their identification as far as uh, enzyme enzyme hydrolytic index of the isolates is concerned so these are the different enzyme for which their uh, enzyme production isolates enzyme production capability was uh, determined so in one row you can see the isolate name uh, in the other pectinase production amylase and so on so this enzyme hydrolytic index it is determined by the colony of enzyme hydrolysis or the ratio of uh, enzyme hydrolysis zone to the colony diameter so that ratio is what has given us the enzyme hydrolytic index and these figures you can determine 
so the more is the enzyme hydrolytic index the efficient is the isolate for producing that particular enzyme so you can see that uh, this v7 isolate has uh, v7 isolate which has given efficient mannanase production with enzyme hydrolytic index 2.8 9 and 3.2 that has been selected for mannanase and vm which has given a better uh, result uh, index values for pectinase production it was selected for the pectinase and enzyme studies in this slide you can see the pectinase production test from the vm isolate and mannanase production test from the v7 isolate so you can see the hydrolysis zone of that particular substrate and uh, the colony of the isolate and he adjacent to this you can see the biochemical tests of these two isolate so all of the isolate their biochemical tests were performed by using high carbo kit and uh, uh, this is how the we have got the result so whenever there is a uh, in this biochemical test whenever there is a sugar hydrolysis you can see the change of the color of the media from red to yellow the phylogenetic relationship of the strains was performed by using mega x software uh, and these are the slides showing different phylogenetic tree of the isolates so this is for the v7 and vm this is for v12 v5 and v02 uh, vsd vv and vj so almost for eight isolates this phylogenetic tree was built up coming to the enzyme production the pectinase production uh, for the pectinase production an oxybacillus strain was selected and for optimization studies the effect of temperature ph incubation time inoculum size different kind of uh, glucose sources agri bio agricultural residues nitrogen sources buffers so effect of all this was performed to get maximum pectinase production so from this studies what we have found is that maximum pectinase production occurred at 50 degrees celsius at ph 8 and after 72 hours of incubation time among different carbon sources glucose was found to be the best inducer for the pectinase compared to sucrose and starch in agricultural residues citrus peel was effective compared to other like uh, other agricultural residues which were tested like wheat bran and coconut peel in nitrogen sources the organic nitrogen sources peptone and yeast extract were tested the peptone was found more suitable than yeast extract and potassium nitrate uh, the inorganic nitrogen source was found to be more suitable in salts sodium chloride was found to be better compared to magnesium chloride and in buffers potassium dihydrogen phosphate was better than the dipotassium hydrogen phosphate after purifying the pectinase various enzyme characterization studies were performed and uh, the optimum temperature substrate concentration incubation time and various other parameters were determined for the pectinase in this characterization studies what we found is that optimum optimum temperature for pectinase activity was 80 degrees celsius it was quite uh, we can say that it was quite uh, high uh, it was able to perform at a very high temperature range after 60 minutes of incubation the optimum time at ps7 and at 0.2% of the pectin concentration that is the substrate for pectinase in different kind of additives what we have found is that edta increase the enzyme activity compared to control sodium thiosulfate potassium iodide 
uh, ammonium ferrous sulfate also increase the enzyme activity but a hydrogen peroxide decrease pectinase activity very drastically the decrease was up to more than 10 to uh, it was like it has come down to from 100% to less than 10% also most of the organic solvent uh, they did not affect the enzyme activity adversely except ethanol and isoamyl alcohol which has reduced the pectinase activity slightly metal ions some are found to be increasing and some were found to be decreasing the enzyme activity like copper nickel barium mercury silver calcium and ferrous and so on compared to the control reaction now coming to the compatibility of detergent on enzyme activity most of the detergent were found to be compatible with the pectinase and in case of some of the detergent actually the enzyme activity was found to be increasing in presence of this detergent so these kind of studies are also reported for pectinase enzyme in the literature and one of the references given over here so this is the application part we can see two fruit apple and orange they were tested for juice extraction effect uh, like effect of this pectinase on juice extraction we can see that juice yield in case of the apple it has increased from 2.4 to 4 ml after employing the enzyme in case of orange also it has increased but uh, as far as clarity of the juice is concerned in case of apple only it was seen and in case of orange the effect was not much more pronounced so in the other figure we can see the detergency effect effect of detergent enzyme and enzyme plus detergent on the destaining ability of uh, this enzyme so in the first we can see the smeared cotton fabric in the second the smeared cotton fabric just washed with the water c it was washed with the inactivated detergent d it was washed with the enzyme solution only that is pectinase and e it was it was like incubated with the enzyme and detergent and later on washed so we can see that in e uh, the detergency activity is much more pronounced compared to other test the second isolate was v7 bacillus lactobacillus and from this thermostable mayonnaise was produced so during the optimization study what was found that maximum production of the enzyme mayonnaise it was it happened at ps6 temperature 60 degrees celsius inoculum site 8% and 72 hours of incubation time starch was better inducer carbon inducer compared to sucrose and glucose in agricultural residues wheat bran was more efficient inducer for the mayonnaise like uh, it has given much more mayonnaise production compared to jowar bran or other agricultural residues tested in organic nitrogen source pepton was more effective and in inorganic nitrogen source potassium nitrate was more effective similarly in salts magnesium chloride was better salt additive compared to sodium chloride and potassium dihydrogen phosphate was effective buffer compared to the other one after optimization of mayonnaise the enzyme characterization studies were performed and what we found is that this enzyme it could it was having an optimum temperature range of activity 70 and 80 degrees celsius optimum incubation time 30 minutes optimum ph 8 substrate concentration 0.25% of lbg lbg is locus bean gum which is a substrate for mayonnaise just like pectin is a substrate for pectinase edta increases the enzyme activity whereas some other increases it to some extent 
and hydrogen peroxide reduced it to great extent in case of the pectin is also we have seen hydrogen peroxide has reduced the enzyme activity so most of the organic solvent tested they did not decrease the manganese activity that is they were compatible with the exception of hexane which has reduced the enzyme some of them increased some of them decreased the enzyme activity and uh, the negative activity of the metal uh, was found to be with the mercury and uh, decreased manganese activity basically in case of the detergent compatibility uh, the reduction of the enzyme activity was minimal that is most of the detergent were uh, somewhat uh, compatible with the manganese activity and that is why uh, we have proceeded with the destaining activity application so there are two application with this manganese enzyme one for the fruit juice extraction and the other for the detergency action so these results uh, like the methodology employed is same which was employed for the pectinase in fruit juice extraction we can see that in case of the apple there was increase in the juice yield when manganese was employed uh, it was tested and in case of the orange also there was increase in the juice yield but uh, fruit juice clarity as we can see from the transmission value it has increased in case of the apple juice only and uh, a very little increase in case of the orange was seen so we can conclude that this enzyme was better in increasing the fruit juice yield and it was also capable of increasing the fruit fruit juice clarity in case of the apple juice in the second figure we can see the detergency action so same a consisting of the smeared cotton fabrics b washed with the water c washed with the inactivated uh, detergent Uh, the d it was uh, incubated in the enzyme and e it was incubated in the enzyme and detergent so here also we can see that the one cotton fabric incubated with the detergent and enzyme has shown the much more distinct distinct fabric compared to the other so we can conclude that enzyme along with the detergent was able to perform detergency action better compared to other test so these are the conclusions conclusions from this study so in this study we have for the first time we have done a comprehensive physical chemical analysis of this water sample a uh, hot water spring the two isolates has been isolated uh, and been identified by mardi ms analysis and the eight isolate 16s rrna sequences has been submitted one culture has been submitted in the ncmr by microbial depository from this hot water spring an oxybacillus species has been isolated for the first time the thermostable pectinase production we have tried and attempted in this and manganese so you can read the pectinase production and manganese production compared to the other studies so these are the uh, few papers we have got from the study papers are in the ugc index journal one is in the web of science and one is in the scopus index journal i have published one book chapter also and five to six book chapters in another book from this uh, our pre phd project study so
हेलो आई एम ऑडिबल टू यू हेलो 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 मैम ऑडिबल टू यू हेलो यस ऑडिबल ओके ओके मैम हैज कंप्लीटेड हर प्रेजेंटेशन ड्यू टू नेटवर्क इशू हेलो हां यस ओके थैंक फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई थैंक्स टू मैम इट वाज वेरी नाइस प्रेजेंटेशन एंड थैंक यू मैम फॉर गिविंग योर इनसाइट ऑफ योर पीएचडी टॉपिक नाउ वी प्रोसीड फॉर क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर सेशन nice presentation madam thank you it is useful for industrial application also if participants having any doubt question uh, you may ask directly or uh, you can put your question in chat box uh, good morning ma'am i am aparna kumari i am research scholar doing phd in rit bangalore tamil nadu i have question yeah. yeah ma'am yes sir yeah ma'am i just want to know that for both the enzyme which you successfully isolated and you did uh, those uh, work research on that which media you use ma'am uh, especially is there any specific media for both uh, the isolates which is uh, giving pectinase and manganese enzyme yeah actually the uh, basic uh, media that i have employed is uh, uh, nutrient broth and uh, it was yeah. somewhat modified and uh, uh, in that media uh, that was the basic media that was employed and uh, all this carbon nitrogen sources they were added one at a time like uh, uh, glucose was added and the effect was seen uh, separately okay. like uh, different sources were added uh, okay ma'am and yeah. ma'am uh, whether you uh, go for purification like purified exactly the enzyme like the include you did all those or like purified uh, enzyme that you did uh not actually i have uh, purified means i ha uh, i have tried ammonium sulfate purification yeah ma'am yeah uh -huh, ammonium sulfate purification but what happened is that uh, i was not able to get the activity so i have uh, Uh, purified it on large scale. I have uh, filtered it. I have centrifuged it various times, and uh, oh. that supernatant I have used as an enzyme source. Okay. And ma'am, yeah. you mentioned that maldi MAS. What is meaning? I mean, I am not aware about this. So just want to know, like, uh, what are the purpose and what are the use to identify in some some slide? And you mentioned it. Uh, uh, so can you repeat the question? a uh, maldi uh, maldi top i heard uh, about the protein ha, yeah 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 maldi maldi yes yes maldi yes. top analysis ha ha uh, yeah actually what is done in uh, the gene sequences that has that is performed so uh, what is done in maldi top analysis is uh, actually the 16s ribosomal protein uh, that okay. uh, is converted into peptide and their fingerprint is matched with the uh, fingerprint in the database that is already there and from that matching of the fingerprint the identification is done so uh -huh. if you have uh, some value which is about 2 then uh, your isolate is supposed to be belonging to that species so okay. that is how a particular value is there uh, from that identification is done Uh, okay, ma'am. Got it, ma'am. Yeah. And whether you did, ma'am, solvent solvent extraction, like in that way to, uh, I mean, get at least half half um, partially purified uh, enzyme, or like directly you, as you said, that you did bulk of production no, no, and no. centrifuge. Uh, no, no, no. Actually, 
actually solvent extraction wasn't done this organic solvents uh, like 1% i have added in the enzyme and uh, effect of those organic solvent i have seen uh, i haven't done solvent extraction okay 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 what is that yeah yeah um ma'am i just want to go through your paper research paper to get more knowledge about that topic if possible uh, i will get i can get your mail id so that uh, i will go through your uh, paper whichever you published yes yes i will give it to krishna ma'am uh, you can collect from her Uh, or okay. uh, you can uh, contact me also uh, no problem okay ma'am thank you so much ma'am that's uh, like you. very uh, good work i never seen about uh, enzyme related work uh, someone did it's very new and unique and very knowledgeable thank you so much for this presentation ma'am thank, thank you thank hello thank i would like to much. tell that uh, we have very short time hello? Uh, we have to complete our program before 12 hello hello okay, i am yeah. audible okay uh, so uh, if participants yes, yes. having many questions you may take uh, uh, ma'am uh, contact number or otherwise uh, email id and uh, uh, you may have uh, your uh, doubts uh, clear through uh, phone or uh, email Uh, because okay, I will just five minutes my... uh, anyone having question uh, you can cover it in only five minutes हेलो हेलो हाँ हेलो मैम इफ एनी पार्टिसिपेंट हैविंग ओनली फाइव मिनट्स वी हैव सर क्या है ओनली वन क्वेश्चन वेदर दिस ऑल द इंस्टिट्यूट बाय वन ऑर्गेनिज्म आर डिफरेंट व्हिच वन द पेक्टिनेज मैनेज व्हाट आर द इंजाइम यू इंडिस्टेड नो Pectinase. I have purified from anoxybacillus species. Pectinase from bacillus like Campylobacter. Uh, the two were different. Now, did you observe that one culture is producing multiple enzymes? Yes. Actually, there were uh, many. Hello, ma'am. Do you have any network issue? Uh, isolates. They were uh, producers. Actually, we did get many isolates like that. Okay, okay. Okay, ma'am. Please share your uh, email ID so other participants can uh, contact and clear their doubt. Uh, so now it's time to thank you. Uh, yes, in chat I have shared. Okay. Yeah, okay. in chat I have shared. Uh, so whoever I have any query can contact me. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Uh, so it's now to thank everyone. Thank. Uh, so thank you, ma'am, for participating and giving uh, uh, your uh, invaluable cooperation. Thank you for giving us time, and uh, thank uh, thank you to everyone who who have jo joined us today and uh, has made this webinar su successful. so thank you everyone thank you okay thank you ma'am so nearly ma'am thank you thank you thank you